So, well, Kelsey, you might not know how to do the whole thing, but there are a couple of things that I mentioned that I wanted you guys to at least go through an attempt that I was hoping that you would have tried. The first thing that I keep on stating over and over and over and over and over again is to isolate the what? The exponent. So, Kelsey, if you notice that here is my exponent. I need to isolate that by applying the inverse operations. So to apply the inverse operations, I need to first subtract 1. So therefore I have 4 times e to the x equals 24. Then I need to undo multiply by 4. So I divide by 4. So I have e to the x equals 6. Now that's not anything crazy, right? You guys have done inverse operations, correct? So Kelsey, in hindsight, would that have been something you at least probably could have at least done? Get started? Yeah, OK. In hindsight. Now, we go ahead and take a look at this. And now we say, all right, well, what do we do? Can we rewrite our two powers with the base e? Raise two powers? No, not really so much. But if we need to take the logarithm, we're going to have to take the log of what base? E. e. Now, the log of base e, rather than using log of base e to the ex, we actually don't use log base e. We represent that as the natural logarithm, which we write as ln. So when you guys see ln, ln is basically the natural logarithm. It's logarithm of base e. Yes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Right, but, what I'm, but remember, but you have e and 6. They have to be exactly the same to use the 1 to 1 property. So you can't use the 1 to 1 property. So, because e and 6 are not, no. e and 6 are not going to be the same. Cole, not right now. So you have to use, we have to use our rules of logarithms, meaning I have to get rid of this e. Because I can't raise e to a power and 6 to a power where they're both going to be the same. So I take the natural logarithm, which would be ln base e on both sides. Now, when you guys look at your calculators, what you guys will notice is there is a ln button right next to the log button. And the reason why, again, ln has a base e. So when you guys go on your calculator, here I can see that ln is right below log. So all I need to do to solve for log is I just do ln of 6 which is 1.79. 1 and if you are using your you know, calculator, you might need to type in 6 ln. 